Mmm. Creeper Amen water. Tastes much better than regular water. Available until the end of the week at represent.com slash Captain Sparkles. Links in the description along with hats and shirts and water not actually included with the mug. You'll have to provide that yourself or coffee because that's probably what you usually drink out of a mug. But the water tastes good too, I assure you. All right, wait, re-rackers, welcome back. Let's start off with number 19. Please don't let him demonetize in new. Once is enough. U.S. military when only one dude shows up at Area 51. Yeah, he's he's works at Area 51 now. That's what happened. He faked his own demonetization due to the pig man. And uh, now he, he works there. Yep. It's um that's the new Fallen Kingdom uh, follow up sequel franchise. Uh, it's it's going to be him at his pretty, pretty boring job. Desk job, Area 51. And he's kind of hoping for people to storm Area 51 because it'll make his job interesting rather than just sitting at a desk doing paperwork all day. So... That could be the new music video, him fighting off the Area 51 human invasion. I made a little something for John. John, we're getting that lazy now with the names. What do you guys think? It's it's a cool little um, cool little little assembly of, of a few little images and stuff. You can see how similar I look to my Minecraft skin. Direct comparison. We're we're definitely some pretty similar looking people there. Pretty pretty cool. Pretty, pretty nifty stuff. Thank you, Noah. Appreciate it. Keep scrolling. Cap's elevator stopped and got stuck before he made it to the top last time. Let's get this man safely there. This is like a very cleverly disguised way to just get people to upvote. It's okay. If we scroll down and then scroll back up, my elevator is moving without doors on it, which is a, a scary thing. And probably the thing that people send me most on Instagram and I'm sure people submit repeatedly in the mods on here, delete over and over, is that open elevator conveyor belt thing that's, I don't know, in Sweden or Norway or something. And everyone's like, Jordan, isn't this your worst nightmare? I'm like, yeah, it is. But also, I've seen it like 500 times now that I'm desensitized to it. So here we go. Scrolling in the open door elevator thing. Thanks for using this image again. I appreciate it. Enjoy the bad art, my friends. This is Jardon. Jardon is afraid of elevators. Good, good, twice in a row. Oh no, an elevator. We think Jardon should start taking steps to avoid elevators. It's funny, the double meaning of the word steps. You made a joke, you made a, a wordplay there. It's funny. You know, I, I take a lot of steps every single day because my house doesn't have an elevator, has a lot of stairs. So I do take a lot of stairs and I take stairs whenever I can. The problem is that mainly when I'm referring to elevators, I refer to my gym because you can't take stairs all the way up. Okay, it's a big problem, stupid problem, but it's not against regulation because the stairs, whether you're on the top or bottom, will let you out on a middle floor so you can escape in the event of a fire hazard emergency thing. You just can't go all the way up and down. It's really dumb. It's the dumbest, quite possibly, and it's dumb. So, yeah, bothers me. I always, I always like to take stairs, unless it was like when I lived on the 50th floor of a building and then I kind of had to take an elevator and I was like, what if there ever is an issue and the elevator is down? 50 floors is gonna be quite a thing. And there are a couple times when the alarm went off accidentally, false alarm, and I was like, do I, do I take the journey 50 floors right now? Or do, what do I do here? I don't know, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit dangerous. It didn't go into my inventory. All right, yes, I realize here in this particular TNT run, I didn't notice the thing that did go into my inventory, but in fairness, I'm very, very focused on the on what's in front of me. And actually, re-watching right now, I can see it totally blind spots that. It's really weird, because I haven't rewatched it since then. I was like, I lived it live. Okay, I realize it's not in my inventory, as I'm sure you were replaying me being like, it's not in my in, but if I look in the middle of the screen, uh, if uh, oh, oh jump boost. My goodness. Wait, I didn't pick Did up the it didn't go Dude, into it my totally, inventory. Dude, it totally blind spots. I can't see it when I'm just focusing in front of me go like an into my inventory. It didn't go into my inventory. Yeah, whatever, dude. Yeah, whatever. But honestly though, if I'm just focusing on the middle of the screen, no, I don't see it. I actually do not see it. I'm being completely serious on that. I can totally And if I look down for a second, I'm going to fall. Wow. Wow, that's actually really weird. It's like an optical illusion how it's like, oh, stare at this and all these other dots will disappear. That's kind of what it's like here. Maybe I just have a bigger blind spot than most people, but I have a legitimate excuse now. 
Creeper Aw Man title screen. Hey, that's pretty cool. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be a little better if it was centered? Actually, what would be even better is if there was like a creeper that would kind of appear in frame there. And every time that it appeared, Creeper Aw Man would flash and then it, it would go back to Minecraft. Or actually, it would morph for a second from Minecraft Java Edition. And then it would go Creeper Aw Man as soon as the creeper went into frame. That'd be kind of, I think that would be even cooler, but at least maybe centered. If there's anything you have got to know, person who made this image about many of the people who watch these videos, they are very much about visual perfection. Okay, if something is off center, it's not okay. And the top is, why is it so off center? So, um, <laughs> there you have it. That's expected behavior. So there, there you go, just an FYI in the future. When Jardon orders food and it's Kenneth delivering it. Actually, I believe Kenneth's name is spelled K-E-N-N-E-T-H. <laughs> you demonetize. Captain Sparkle starved to demonetization. God dang it, Kenneth. God dang it, Kenneth. I've, I've not had Kenneth deliver any food since then, which is great. I've had some repeat delivery people. It happens probably like Every few weeks, I'll get someone who's delivered before. I don't know if it's ever happened three times. I've only had like two X delivery people. And it always, I like it because it means they'll be able to find my house easier. So whenever I see someone who's been to my place before, I'm like, oh, thank goodness. This is going to go smoothly. And it usually does, actually. So maybe if Kenneth gets my address again, he'll make it. It, it had nothing to do with getting it, finding my house. He just wasn't driving to my house. He was just doing other things. If you missed the saga of Kenneth, it was during an SMP Live episode. You can watch those on twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles or youtube.com slash Captain Sparkles 2, where all the VODs exist after the stream is done. Anyway, Kenneth is now a meme in chat. Creeper. Aw, oh, man. Creeper. No, that's Okay, so we're going to pause for a second here. Like, I've seen... Every, this is apparently a trend now. Someone did this. It got like 30,000 retweets. Once again, more than any tweet I've ever tweeted, which is just, okay. It's not cool if I do it. It's only cool if other people do it. And now I just I see a ton of them. People like tweet at me and then just like, hey, by the way, another person is doing it here. Just all get like thousands of retweets, which means like I need to try it. But anyway, all right. This is now a meme on Twitter. How you plan Area 51 not storm it. Creeper. Oh, man. Got them wrong, damn it. Cuck. Creeper. I'm Jeez. not looking at the lyrics in the description because those Shush. are the Creeper. Yeah, I still need to update the lyrics. I think actually maybe I shouldn't. Because right now revenge is like it's apparently that yesterday it was number 13. Now it's number five on the genius hold on. Let's see where it's at right this second. Genius charts. Revenge right now is number five. <laughs> genius. Uh, and I can only imagine. And look, 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 look. This is not like some obscure thing, okay? Genius is a big YouTube channel. They do those like interviews where people explain their lyrics and stuff. This is like Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Louis Capaldi, Sam Smith, Sean Mendez, Lil Nas X, and Sheer. Like these are big people here. <laughs> and then Captain Sparkles. <laughs> and I think that's because the lyrics are wrong in the description of the video. So people are like, uh, we're going to need to go find the real ones. So maybe I shouldn't update it because it's giving it some serious ammunition over here. And maybe it's also helping to dry. See, then then people are seeing these things on Twitter and they're like, oh, let's do it ourselves. And then the lyrics are wrong. And then it fits a feedback loop and we continue. Oh, man. So we back in the mind. That's enough. Go do it in spam chat. Oh. Creeper. Oh, man. So we back in the mind. Wait. Creeper. <laughs> oh man. Ah! Creep, creeper. Oh man. So we back in. Oh. Creeper. Oh man. So we back in. Ah! No, don't be stuck. Creeper. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I almost want to try this myself. Oh, boy. I mean, I do have a, a Discord where I could attempt this. Uh, we'll see. Who knows? Maybe. Okay. Anyway, um, moving right along. They're going to get a piece of him. 
Heard those guards haven't been re-racking their weights. Count me in, Raiders. <laughs> All right. Area 51 is done. Okay, we're over it. I guess this was several days ago, but I'm like, I feel like the meme is overplayed now. I know Nick, who is editing this, he's not a fan of the Area 51 meme. So Nick, I'm sorry that you're dealing with this on multiple occasions. No one is actually gonna try to raid Area 51, but except me, apparently. Make sure, guards, you have two months and you need to start re-racking your weights. Otherwise, there's gonna be hell to pay. All right, here we go. Is it just me who wants this? Captain Sparkles and Pews are obligated to do a Minecraft collab. I don't like to ask people to do things. I am never the initiator. I am only the initiatee. So if that's something he wants to do, then cool. I'm sure that that's like, he probably would have everyone on the planet hitting him up to do a thing. So it's like, I don't like to bother people. So if he wants to play Minecraft, I'm down, but I ain't, and don't you go and bother him now, okay? I shouldn't have said anything, because now you're gonna be like, hey, make sure, you it's okay, he probably gets 50,000 mentions a minute on Twitter and everything, so it'd be buried. Anyway, so it's not a big deal, but, but also just don't do it anyway, but yep, anywho, I'm always happy to collab with people and make cool vids and fun vids and stuff, you know? It's him. The government realizing only one person showed up to- do, Really? Again? Re again? The, it's, so, Area 51 is now like canon in the in the Fallen Kingdom universe, that's what's going on here. <laughs> why? Why has he showed up? I don't get the con- I get the context of Sensei defending Area 51. I don't get the context of why has the king showed up to Area 51. That, what? It's being upvoted just because people are like, haha, XD, Area 51. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. I don't get it. It has nothing to do with anything. This won't work. Sorry. New banner. Any suggestions? Oh, man. Shut down from the get-go, dude. <laughs> it's so good, though. Why can't it work? Why can't it work? I, I, I now have a Discord with with the Reddit mods. I need to ask why. Maybe it won't work because it actually needs to be even wider than this. It probably does. I bet you that the aspect ratio isn't quite... Well, no, because I just have a really big monitor. Weird flex, but okay. And so maybe... I don't know, dude. Mods, why won't it work? This is a pretty good idea, in my opinion. I hope Jardon sees this. Jardon, I know... I don't know if you read comments or not, but a way egg coin could work once you get it up and running could be someone buys an egg coin for 12 diamonds and you watch them throw it. And if a chicken pops out, they get 20 diamonds, but then they've just broken their egg coin. I feel like that only hurts me, right? Because the way that egg coin gets value is not if I'm paying out the increase in value, it's if somebody else is paying out the increase in value, okay? Yeah, whatever, it's maybe, maybe a little bit Ponzi scheme-esque, but you know, someone will, Someone will be like, wow, or, or what I have to do is I have to just make a limited amount of egg coin. Like, I'm pretty sure with Bitcoin, there's only so many Bitcoin that can exist in the world. And so, like, once once all the egg coins exist and are in circulation, they will obviously be very desirable. And therefore, people will be willing to pay more and more for them until they reach their fair market value in the future, which will be a lot higher than the initial cost. And then, obviously, I will keep the supply of a lot of egg coins to myself. So that in the future, when people want egg coins, well, they can come to me and be like, yeah, I have some of the only ones remaining. So um, you're going to have to pay a premium market price and they'll, j they'll want them so badly that so that's really what it is. I just keep a lot. I don't want to break them, though, by turning them into chickens. Chickens are useless. <laughs> the baby chickens, at least. Adult chickens, eh, they give you some good food. Since Jardon rides in boats quite frequently, I made him this resource pack. Wait, what? what's the resource pack? Oh, it's not an it. George GT boats. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's gr that's great. I thought for a second it was actually gonna be like straight up Ford GT custom model, but this is cool too. They're all the and they all look like a George GT. Okay, so can you combine this with the villager chests? Okay, and then send that to me. I will use it. Just, just combine, I'm sure that I would be able to figure out how to do it, but I don't want to look into it. So just, yes. If someone wants to make a hybrid, don't distribute it, because then the people who made the chest villager thing, they'll probably not be happy that you're like distributing it, but just combine it and like 
message it to me on Twitter or something like that, and we'll figure it out, and then I will actually use it because um, it'll be a hybrid villager chest, George GT boat. It'll be dope, and everything will be fantastic. He showed feet. This is why I can't have nice things. Using the regular Drake format, using pictures from our phase of Jardon because I can. I like how that's a subreddit. <laughs> using Jardon's foot. I forgot that, that that was a thing that I showed at one point. Don't put me on wiki feet. I don't need it. I mean, my feet are, you know, I think they're aesthetically pleasing. There's nothing crazy wrong. You know, some people, so like, some people have weird toes. It happens every now and again. I think my, like, especially little toenail, you know? I don't know, there's something about the little toenail that can go haywire sometimes. I think my little toenails are like still pretty, pretty vanilla. So I don't know, they'd be, I could be a foot model if, if they didn't care about the hair on the top of the foot. Otherwise though, could have had another career, dude. Would have been, would have been good. Would have been great. Can't wait to go see Jardingle in the new Cats 2019 this holiday season. I don't even need to look at the thumbnail to know what it is. Oh, it always comes back to haunt me. <laughs> oh, it's so relevant now. I feel like it actually, as per the top comment here, it would have looked better with people in costumes instead of this absolutely bizarre looking CG with faces on the humanized CG cats. I'm like, oh, what is? No, no, no. And it's crazy because they've got such massive movie star talent in the movie. This isn't some kind of B movie. This is like some all out crazy talent. They paid people a lot of money to be in this thing. And these people, it must have been so much that they agreed despite it looking like that. Or maybe they just had no idea. They were like, oh man, this is a really popular musical. It should be great in the, the big screen adaptation. And then they committed, they signed, and then they saw the trailer. And you know, sometimes when it comes to the premiere, that is like the first time some of the people involved with the movie and actors are seeing it in full. And they're just as surprised with, wow, Look at what they were able to do with all the CG. I was just standing in front of a green screen or recording lines inside of a booth. That's crazy how it turned. The trailer might have been a big surprise to a lot of those actors. They would have been like, oh, look like that. That's not what I signed up for. Who knows? But I did it the right way here on this episode of YouTubers React. I, should, I need to like, sorry. Uh, I might rip this and tweet it or something because it's a really good caption to go along with the image. So um, just be aware it might happen. The world has spoken, Jardinian. More Minecraft songs and remixes? Yes, no. Where was this poll held? Could have been photoshopped. I feel like I needed to see it live and in person in order to really be able to tell for sure that it's legit. But like I said, in the vlog that I posted a few days ago, I haven't ruled it out. It could be the time to strike, okay? Now that Minecraft is coming back. So if it happens, cool, but I am not committing to anything until a video actually goes up on the channel, okay? If there was a video that was planned to go up tomorrow, which there is not, I should say, I would still today be like, I don't know, I'm looking into it, but maybe or maybe not. And then tomorrow a music video would drop. But again, that's not, that's not, I just really don't want to get people's up. So there's not a music video dropping tomorrow. There is not 100%. But anyway, that's all I'm saying is I just don't want to get expectations going. I love democracy, says the emperor. Was scrolling through my gallery and found this from three plus years ago. It's a piece of pixel art I made of Jardon Maroon, aka Captain Sparkles, originally posted on Instagram, but he never saw it, decided to post here because who knows, Reddit might do its thing. Well, Reddit did do its thing and gave it nearly 2,000 up George GT boats. So, dang. So, here, did, did you actually, if you built that by hand, block by block, then that's pretty, that's pretty nifty. I just say that because I'm pretty sure there are programs out there that you can just put an image into and it'll like export it into Minecraft basically. Um, but you did that by hand, that's that's pretty sick. Also, that was that was in that time period where I was like, let's rock the Tony Stark beard. And also pre going to the gym. So at least my face didn't look too terribly weird, but I've had I had better facial hairstyles than that. I think that was a mistake. Or if I'm gonna do that, I feel like it needs to be done by a professional and maintained on a pretty daily basis. It's just, yeah, not my best work. Not my best work. But I feel like you made it look better in your pixel art than it actually did in 
real life. The worst part though, okay, the worst part is that I can never, I can't connect from the stash to the beard. There's that little gap there and it just kills me. I'm happy with the rest of how it grows in, but just right there is just can't, mm, it's annoying. It's can't freaking get that, it's, oh, it's the worst. It, it haunts me on a daily basis. And that's part of the reason why I was like, I can't do this facial hairstyle anymore. Anyway, but I digress. This is about the pixel art, which is nifty. I made a pixel art yesterday too of Armenia. So we're in the same boat here. <laughs> I'm glad we can both do pixel arts together. Thank you for watching this week's Captain Sparkle subreddit video. Weight re-rackers, make sure to join the weight re-rackers so that you too can appear in the banner that apparently cannot be used for some reason that I'll follow up on. Creeper on man merch available at represent.com slash Captain Sparkles link in the description only until the end of the week. Mm. Get you some Creeper on man water. Like if you liked, playlist in the description for more of these. Subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you next time.